Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what I did for my backup camera. Uh, there should be a link at the bottom in the description showing exactly all the steps to do to install the backup camera, but I thought I'd just do a quick walkthrough here too, so you can follow along. So here it is, it's a pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap backup camera I got from Amazon. It's mounted in there with some epoxy right now. And uh, I'm gonna paint that black so it blends in better. Maybe sand it too so it's smooth. So to start with, you're gonna wanna remove this back panel over here. So if you don't already have a set of these body panel tools, they're pretty cheap, under 20 bucks, you get them. Uh, or you can use any other piece of thick plastic. You just, I just sort of start on the bottom here, get underneath here, and then move it along until you find some resistance and just pop up. Keep going. I've already loosened this one before. Oh, it's kind of hard with one end. All right. Uh, hopefully you'll have two hands when you do this, so you won't drop my pan. Uh, there it is, though. If you can somehow thread those screws and somehow manage to to bracket the camera in there, go for it. I haven't had any luck doing that myself. There's sort of like a, a chasm down here where you can easily lose screws. I've already lost three or four pairs down there already. I just sort of gave up, bought some epoxy and did it that way. And if you do go the way of using epoxy, I recommend taping down the front side of the camera so you don't get all this stuff on it like I did. So for wiring, there's two things you gotta be worried about. Uh, there's the power, 12 volt wire, and there's the video. And the video wire includes a third wire too, which can be used to run the brake signal from the back to the front. But for the ProMaster, I didn't need this because it already includes one in the wiring harness. The wires, both pairs, start here. I shimmied them through up to this weatherproofing here, uh, just using like the, the flexible metal piece of a hoop skirt. I found that to be pretty effective. You can take these off if you just pull. And so you can shimmy them up. Same thing on the other side. Um, you can pull this off, it goes right in there and comes out of here. Um, when you're doing this yourself, you can see in the guide that I'm gonna link to, you might wanna start actually from the top of here because it's a little bit difficult to exit at this point. It's sort of a weird L-shaped angle and you have to do a little bit of prying to make it work. Okay, so the wire comes out of this hole here and that's where they split. So the power wire, 12 volt line, goes all the way down here and comes out of this hole, which you can access by lifting. Just, just lift up and it comes right out. And you can see I've tapped the line over there from the cigarette lighter. Meanwhile, the other wire goes from up here, goes all the way across, just inside the inside of this top piece here, comes out of this hole. And from this hole, you can snake the wire down here to behind this pane. So again, we're gonna remove this pane, pretty easy. This one just pops right out. You put your uh, power removal tool here, just pull, comes right out. And you can see uh, where the wiring runs along the existing factory wiring. And that'll just snake all the way down here. It'll come out somewhere behind this panel. You can remove this panel, there are some uh, screws you need to remove. They're just Phillips number one screws right here, 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 these three, and then all along the bottom right there. So you just remove all of them, then it pops right out pretty easily. So you can see pictures on my guide on how to do that. And from this point on, it's pretty easy. The wires will just run along there. It'll run below uh, with what they call this the, the B column, and then it'll run on the underside of this. So to remove this panel, um, it's pretty similar. First of all, you're gonna have to remove your floor mat if you have one. Um, and then on the inside here, there's one screw you gotta access right there. Just pull that out and then this comes right off. You probably have to twist it a little bit like this to get underneath this panel. So at this point, you should have the wire running all the way here. And at this point, all you have to do is run that wire underneath so you can see it's a little bit loose here. There's a couple clips you just pull down and you can just zip tie that wire uh, to the top side of this. And that'll get the wire over here. 
And now at this point, it's a simple matter of just running that wire with that same tool, the snake tool up from the bottom all the way to the top, and then you should have it uh, right behind your dash. Uh, at this point, if you wire everything correctly to your radio, once you put your car in reverse, the back of the camera should come on. There's a lot of glare right now that you can see outside. And yeah, that'll, that'll work. That's just a quick overview of how I put the backup camera in. And I'm gonna make another video on how to do the radio itself. But if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and uh, I'll answer them. So have a good one.